see, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Hmm. Yes, making friends. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I was gonna say, uh, we're coming up on the end of the month. We'll probably get a new slew of games for you guys to redeem pretty soon. Probably another Friday or two. We'll probably get a new wave of games. It's like Zombie. He's waiting for something he wants. Yes, new games! <laughs> Finally. It's monthly. Monthly we get some new games, just for you guys. And as long as you're watching the stream, you're getting the booty bumps for those games. It's like literally if you watch a, a, the stream like a month straight, you could probably redeem like three to four, maybe even five games. <laughs> That's how much I reward you guys. You just guys, you guys just need to start using your booty bumps more. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of you guys like to hoard your booty bumps, but come on, man. That's free games you could own. <laughs> you could claim it as your own. <laughs> In that exact order. Yeah, because I think at the end of every year I get rid I get rid of at least wave one games. It's like if there's any other wave one games that no one has redeemed, I get rid of the codes. <laughs> oh Okay. <laughs> that works. That totally works. I'd probably just smell like sewage water again. Mmm, delicious sewage of water. No. Okay, nothing there. <laughs> Aha! I see. Nutmeg! Nut! Yeah, getting all that money. Five out of ten so far. <laughs> Withdraw money. Yeah, let's see. Reinnovations. I'm only getting a uh, thirty-four. So the shops are the ones that are bringing the most money in so far. So far. I have a say in it. Man, if I could just buy a shop like that and just keep getting money out of it, that would be sure awesome. I have just what you need. Somewhere in the back, perhaps. Uh-huh. I buy more armor. I feel a little naked doing this. Yeah, boy. Get some greaves. I just feel a tad bit naked, you know? Just need more armor. Oh, and a better sword, too, would be nice. Nice. Shop quest. Complete this shop quest. To unlock the captain's sword. Oh, okay. It tells me what I need. I need to get two totems. Buddhist prayer beads. Okay, so they're they're pretty much collecting everything. All right.
Money, money, money. And wool. I keep forgetting that the shops actually have little there quests for you. Go, sir. Mention me to your amici. Amici. Una moneta. Let's see. I sold yeah. We need to get our first doctor's thingy. Doctor shop. Where exactly will he be? Ah, here. So I don't think I bought this yet. Or bought one of these yet. Oh, okay. Now I got four out of like 15 of them. I guess I might have been kind of doing it. Didn't even know. Ah, there's a totem. Farewell and sweet recovery, amigo. All right. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's how most of the uh, medicine doctors were. Yeah, it was mainly for like, I think those masks came just before the Black Plague did. So a lot of the medical doctors used to wear masks like that to avoid uh, diseases and things. And they designed it kind of like, I forgot what the design, original, the origin of design came from, but it's pretty interesting how their, their masks are like that. But they mainly wear those masks to not catch diseases while treating their patients. That's pretty much how it was. I'll just buy some more area. Buy some more places. While opening up the map. Uh, the, the more places I buy early on, the less money I have to worry about in the future. It's called investing! There we go. Delicious Ooh, money. This day. Two oh. new artists of rare talent. Let's see, do you have treasure maps? Ah, oh, I gotta complete a quest now for treasure maps, huh? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Okay. So items I haven't found I yet. Find something more to your so it guys. gives me more of a reason to uh, find treasures now. Because the whole, the whole treasure chest in Assassin's Creed 2, I mean, yeah, it held money in it, but it didn't really have much of else of a purpose. Also... Like, um, they didn't really, oh yeah, I can, I can hold, uh, heavy weapons now. I just need to save up for it. But yeah, in Assassin's Creed 2, like after you like upgraded a few things, like opening up the chest and all that didn't give you enough money to buy certain things after a while. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it made finding them really easy. But it didn't help you. I don't think it... No, it, it never, like, pointed where, like, feathers were, though. Which is kind of nice that there was still at least one collectible that they didn't, like, show you. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. It still made certain finding certain collectibles a challenge. It's like, oh goodness. Gotta find over a hundred something, like, you know... Feathers. Hope to find them. So it. Did I already find that one? Or no, that's probably one I haven't found. Not sure. There's a Borgia Tower. 
I'm gonna go over here and see if I can sink to this one now. Hopefully there's no invisible wall. Please don't desync me because I want to go over there. <laughs> thank goodness this thank goodness this is like Italy and not Egypt. Where there's crocodiles. Cause I I've been warned that once I play Origins, be wary of jumping in the water. <laughs> Cause there are crocodiles in the water. I was like, oh, good to know. Kind of like uh, Far Cry 3 when you jump in the fucking water and there's crocodiles in those waters. <laughs> Thinking uh, Far Cry 4, there's also like crocodiles you had to work. No, it wasn't. No, I think it was crocodiles. That or it was demon fish. Loot players are back. Great. Now I got to worry about beggars and loot players this is just great my most hated of enemies in the game not the people i have to kill it's the people i have to avoid is the thing i hate what wow his doesn't jump as far either in this one i gotta really worry about Ezio. <laughs> Crocs, hip oh, I'm worried. I'm, I'll probably be more worried about hippos than crocodiles, if that's the case. <laughs> Has anyone seen? It's kind of a messed up video, but it's on it's on YouTube where someone made a parody. I forgot where the origin of the video comes from, but. It's a crocodile that finds himself uh, in the middle of a freaking, just pretty much a whole entire group of hippos, and he gets fucked up. <laughs> and it's like, holy shit! <laughs> hippos have hippos don't give a shit. They will rip anything apart that's in their group. <laughs> hippos are dangerous, man. They look all nice and cuddly until they open their goddamn mouth. Hippos, yeah, they they're more dangerous than crocodiles. <laughs> that's for sure. They're territorial. I think they're more territorial than crocodiles. I think hippos can outrun you on land too. They're like they're kind of more short distance, kind of like the crocodile and alligators, where they can run really fast, but they can't run for long. There we go. All right, let's try and sink a little bit more. Unless there's a Borgia tower over here. Nah. Borgia. I have never seen a stranger, man. I've never seen an uglier one. Ooh, what are you gonna say about that? Thing is, they get they provide you with a horse in this game, but why would you have a horse? <laughs> Unless it's like super open land and all that. It it seems like it would be faster to just climb on the buildings and shit. Okay. Oh, what do you think about the beta? What do you think about more to com more on combat eleven? <laughs> And no, even I call it Moron Combat. Doesn't mean I, you know, dislike the game. <laughs> I like, I like Moron Combat. It just deserves that title. Son of a bitch. Assassination. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. 
I know, how does not, anyone not hear that? How does anyone not hear all those shots? <laughs> it's so fucked up. See, so yeah, that's another... Like, that's when I understand that they kind of made it a little too easy to use the gun. I think and if you shot the gun, your little handgun, it should attract a lot of guards your way. Because they did... They, I think they kind of forgot to balance, you know, the noise. <laughs> So if it's going to make a loud noise like that, it should attract a lot of guards. But I guess they didn't want to make it too hard for new players. What person is going to jump in the freaking Assassin's Creed? At least when this, you know, these games were coming out with Brotherhood and not Assassin's Creed 1 or 2 first. <laughs> I don't know their thought process behind that, but it's weird. As I was say, like, if you pre-order a game just to play the beta, that's okay. Just don't, don't buy the game. <laughs> Assassin! I'm thinking with how small the like another way they could have balanced the uh, the gun in this game too is that you would have had to shoot specific targets of the body like if someone was wearing a helmet you couldn't do a headshot but maybe they didn't have chest armor so you would have to shoot the heart in order to get one a one shot kill but if you shoot like an armor piece it would still kind of go through, but it wouldn't hit any vital organs. And thus, you would have to shoot them like one more time or something like that. But then, by then, they would have found where you are. I'm thinking there would have been some really good balances with the gun. Just to make it a little bit, not really difficult, but make you think more while using it. This, on the other hand, they made it super arcadey. <laughs> Which the Assassin's Creed has never been Assassin's Creed has never been like historically accurate or mechanically accurate or anything like that. It's just been a fun series. <laughs> There's no accurate things <laughs> when it comes to Assassin's Creed. They kind of nerfed the gun in Assassin's Creed 2, but then they made it more powerful in Brotherhood, where you, you, you kind of one-shot people out of nowhere. In Assassin's Creed 2, some of those guards, it took like two, three shots to kill someone. But at least in the beginning, they only give you like five bullets, but you can easily get those bullets back by like searching dead bodies. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> like, oh, oh yeah, just, sh just search the dead body. You'll get that. You'll get those bullets back. It's like, mm. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I can finally sink here. <clears throat> it's probably locked, and I'm gonna be very disappointed. Excuse me. Excuse me. He would love every you, Sean. <laughs> it's gonna follow the uh, waterfront for now. Less buildings and people to worry about, but I can maybe just cross this bridge. All right. 
so far it's not blocking me off of any territory so far. We should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I actually purchase that? Maybe. Uh, this is near the Colosseum. Time to take out the Borgia. Fuck the Borgia. Thing is, there's like a show about the Borgia and everything. Well, there's multiple shows about Borgia and some of the uh, families from the Italian Renaissance. <laughs> he can't dye his robe pink. I don't know why he can't dye his robe pink. I mean, the closest thing to it would probably be like the uh, the wine color. I think the wine color was the closest thing to pink, but it, it, that was still dark too, though. I don't think a lot of men or even women in the uh, front, uh, no, Italian Renaissance wore a lot of pink. So that's probably the reason why they didn't give you like a pink option. I don't even know if they use that dye. And it's just a lighter red, that's it. Uh oh. Time to go quiet for now. Ooh. So I kind of wish I could just whistle. Can't do the whole finger one. <laughs> I don't know how people can. I mean, if you if you whistle, you call your horse though. Like, it doesn't attract the guard. <laughs> Yeah, sadly the the whistling doesn't do anything. Uh, they introduced it in this game since you can call a horse. See, your horse comes when you whistle. Okay, it looks like he's not gonna move. Now I'm trying to remember if uh, whistling and attracting guards was introduced in Assassin's Creed 3 or Black Flag or something like that. Wait, please. Anything that came out of uh, Unity, I totally forgot about. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't remember a lot from uh, Unity. <laughs> you want to know what happened right now? I guess we'll come across it. I mean, we are playing all the games, so we'll definitely find out pretty soon. Let's get a let's 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 get a memory refresh while we're like you know playing this whole series. See which game introduced what in this series. Oh, there he is. Alright, got one bullet. Let's see if I can do it. Damn it. I can't 
can't aim at him. They won't let me aim at him. <laughs> I need to get a different angle. Oh, wait. There we go. Boom, baby. Oh, headshot, bitch. <laughs> get lost, nerds. Imagine if an assass assassin actually said that after his, like, <laughs> after his fucking, like, assassination attempt. Like, dude, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> You're a fucked up assassin. <laughs> like, come on, show some respect for your kill, dude. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Wait, where's the barrels? There's usually barrels. <laughs> they didn't give me barrels for this one. I can still ignite it. Like, yeah, we didn't really care about her, Captain. He was kind of an asshole. <laughs> We're not gonna avenge him. The Guardia. Ooh, Indian Diamond. Hey, another tailor. You need only lift your gazes past my counter and see the head or drop from my voice. Please, no. Three out of twelve. There we go. Oh, we're definitely going to get a lot of money every 20 minutes. Let's see. Thank you for the money. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we got a stable. Oh, he is quite the businessman. Oh, and treasure finder. Don't forget about treasure finder. <laughs> he apparently finds treasure like no tomorrow. Averroes was a heathen, infidel, black soul, turk lover, no doubt, but he was a great leader. There we go. I have action and the wisdom of the Ooh, Camera, please. All right, let's open up the map even more. I bet we still can't go over there, probably. I'm going to try and go over here first. No, uh, how they are always trying to find the assassin, no matter which character it is. You should probably try and find a guy in a white cloak, probably with a white hood to it. Ah, dang it! They locked it off. It was heathens. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, uh, story. Can I go here, <laughs> please? Is this locked off too? Should I just not try and sink? I hate it. I hate it so much. How much? Ooh. Uh, let's go to a uh, blacksmith real quickly and <laughs> revitalize our ammunition.
I'm kind of lacking on a little bit of everything. All who need the best are welcome here. The best prices. I have a wide range of <laughs> Damn it. incredible <laughs> stop. bargains for you and Ichi. I want to talk to you. Come, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. The fuck? I can perform lesser amputations on site. Something wrong? <laughs> Can I talk to the blacks? Oh! I press Y to, for the shop. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Do I need to go to another shop owner for now? Here, let's go over here. <laughs> That was annoying as shit. I hate it when there's little glitches like that. It's like, fine! Play through even longer, you assholes. <laughs> Damn you, game! Damn you to hell! Four thousand. Healing, wellness, leeches. Leeches. Leeches everywhere. Uh. Okay, we're good. There, now I can talk to this guy at least. Na, na, na. There we go. Ooh. Those bullets aren't cheap. Oh. Of course, I have to do a shop quest. Your coin seems genuine. Yeah. Well. I guess if I'm gonna open up the map a little bit more, I gotta do these quests. <laughs> Probably try and do the quest over here. It looks like I can probably actually sink here though. If that quest is right here, I could definitely sink there and also just destroy that tower too. Let's see if that's the case. If that's not the case, then I just give up on sinking for now. I'm just gonna do the missions. <laughs> Naruto run. <laughs> God. And I do have to say the uh, the manga of Naruto and also just the the anime of Naruto has ruined the image of uh, ninjas forever. <laughs> Has just ruined the uh, mythology and everything for ninjas. Like, man. Now people think freaking ninjas wear track shoot track suits. <laughs> Shit like that. Oh, hopefully this doesn't hurt too much. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Oh, dang it. Ah, oh, cock blockers. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, real ninjas, all they were were they were past farmers. That's all they were. You ever looked at their uh, their weapons? They're farming weapons.
And ninjas, they technically weren't the greatest of fighters, that's for sure. <laughs> That's why when ninjas ever, whenever they went toe to toe with samurai, they always lost. Ninjas didn't have a good track record of actually finishing their missions. <laughs> At least when it came to like, you know, they had to stay stealthy. They had to assassinate their targets with poison and shit like that. They weren't as capable fighters compared to samurai and shogu. I need to figure out how to get back up. <laughs> oh, is that a question to me? <laughs> so, do you know what jobs... Jobs as in like possessive jumps? Because you had you did jobs apostrophe S. Jobs uniform. Head to toe, black, never seen or interacted with. Uh CEOs. <laughs> Stage hand. Yeah, that's, it. that's true too. Stagehands, they're modern day ninja. <laughs> Ezio Auditore! Hey, you motherfucker! Come in, come in. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! You actually have a wife? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Kill only the Borgia captain. All right, we'll try that. <clears throat> so where is he? Someone stop the leader before he gets to the tower. Hey, <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> Got you! Alright, so what do I need to do? Oh, the tower? So, now that I killed the captain, all I need to do is go up this tower and hopefully not kill anyone else. Can you climb that? No. Alright, there's like one dude here. Hopefully he's not actually on the same level as I am. I mean, if he is, I'll just climb the other way. There shouldn't be anyone guarding a, else guarding this. Uh... I mean, you can kill anyone else, but... It would. I won't get the full sink if I do. 
Because I can kill the other guards if I wanted to, but... I don't mind fully sinking some missions if I think I could just kind of do it easily. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can do this one. I don't, I don't want to work for my full sink. <laughs> if I don't get a full sink, I don't get a full sink. Because I've already 100 percented at least the sinks in this game before. I kind of don't want to do it again. <laughs> So the less work I have to do for these playthroughs, the better. I will, in fact, try and like make as much money as I can before I'm done with the playthrough. Ignite! Down with the Borgia! Down with the Borgia! Ooh, did he land in the water with his back first? That must have hurt. Ow. Alright. Uh, let's see. It looks like... Oh, that wasn't Mario. Mario's dead. Now oh, that—that's the other dude from Assassin's Creed 2. I forgot his name already. <laughs> the guy that has the sword called Bianca. Yeah, Mario died. Rip Mario. Rest in peace, my dear uncle. One day I'm gonna get to the top again. I feel amazed. <laughs> One day I'll get to the top. It'll allow me. Not a cliff hold? No. The fuck? <laughs> um, hmm. Ah, here we go. Please! Let me get to the top already. It keeps getting higher. There we go. Ah, thank you. <sighs> Alright. Let's get back there. Rest in pepperonis. Good old uncle. Ezio, we sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. <laughs> but in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. At least he approves that he's, like, kind of dumb. No! Oh, I pressed Y to speak to the dude. Oh, no. Is it? Just chalk to the architect for fuck's sake! It's it's broke again. <laughs> oh, now I can do it. A pleasure. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your oh, skills, yeah. and you will move up the list. 
think you can do like fighting and stuff like that. <laughs> Jan's fighting downstairs. If you're looking to show yep. off, fight clubs. Also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. I like he, like this. Yeah, I think this is the one that introduced like fight clubs and shit. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Wait, so Madonna translates from Italian to Madame? So wait, the singer Madonna is this Madame. I would have never known. <laughs> Mind blown. Oh, what is this? Oh. Well, let's have mercenaries here. Wait, unless there's mercenaries already around here. Oh, mercenaries are already around. Well, it probably makes sense to have mercenaries here. Aha! Well, well, well. 4,300, huh? Hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. And I guess we can kind of switch it out whenever. But it's a yeah, good. Okay, are they gonna still cock block me in this, or do I have to worry about it later? <laughs> Let's see if they do. All right, moment of truth. Bastido! Ah, they did it again. I should never, never come across fossil hope like that. All right, just gotta keep expanding. Expand the story, then I'll eventually be able to <laughs> traverse. Well, this is a good time to start buying stuff. How much would it be? How much would it take to buy this? If I can even reach it. Nope, can't even reach that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> but I can see it, man. It exists. I swear. <laughs> hmm. I think I have those. Yeah. I think it's these I don't have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Most Ubisoft games in the past did that. I think even uh well uh, Far Cry five was very open ended. Um I don't remember. I think Far Cry four kinda blocked you a little bit. Oh, I got money in the bank. I should probably grab it. Stop by the bank real quickly. Fifth draw. Wonder if you get interest. You just keep it in the bank. Hmm? See, that's what I like. If uh, Origins and Odyssey does that for you, I I'll gladly enjoy that game just exploring at first do you still have to sink in odyssey and origins because i know in syndicate you do if you want to open up the map you have to kind of sink yeah 
I'm sure I have a surprise or two for Try and make as much money as we can at the beginning of the game, boys. Alright. Let's get... Oh, uh, can't get them yet. Get some mercenaries going. Oh yeah. Ah. Okay, cool. So your, your ego kind of sinks for you. That's cool. Uh, what type of challenge is that? Assassination contracts. Okay, so they're coming back. Assassination con contracts come back. Um... Oh yeah, I just bought an art dude. I'm kind of wondering if he has any maps that I can buy or do I need to complete those? Any other quests that I have to... Oh, there's all those paintings. Sell that. Most likely no treasure maps. Yeah, well, he's out of stock. Okay. Grazie for your patron. Hmm. Let's buy this blacksmith. Hmm. I'll probably find my little techniques. I'm hell. I might even do what you do. Auto travel and let the uh, eagle scout for me. There we go. So, man, there's so much arguing going on. So much arguing. I can't stand it. Leave it be. Let me guess. The treasure chest is on the other side. Yep. What we get this time? Wool. Fantastical. Can we buy that? The broken aqueduct? That, that one's probably expensive though. Let's see. So if we can get the aqueducts, I remember them bringing in a good amount of money. Probably do some assassination contracts today too before Lara takes over the stream for today. Hmm. Oh. Oh, not that expensive. Very nice. This also gives you a chance to get some treasures up there, I think, too. Woo! Five thousand. For 20 minutes. A pleasure. See you next time. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh yeah, there's a total of eight of them too. I'm gonna have to kind of go down the line and like repair them. Let's do this. Yeah, let's make Rome great again. <laughs> I mean, technically Rome was really never that great because it had slavery and shit. I mean, Rome was great in certain ways. You can't deny that Rome had amazing military. An absolute, like one of the best militaries in history. It's militia force. Nothing really rivaled it. Except for the, except for the Trojans, man. The Trojans could definitely rival them.
jar of leeches. Hey, hey. I don't like the way you're looking at me, sir. I need to get lost. Okay. Next. Let's go buy this first. Oop. That's gonna hurt. Ow. Might as well heal. Excuse me. Oh, this. Snare grip. Fast moves. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no, this is rude. Not considered assault or battery or anything like that. Dude, I don't know if you're hungry. I kind of feel sorry for you. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know if he's going to pick up the money, but I just kind of feel sorry for the dude. It's like, he kind of looks hungry, man. Should probably give him some food. Or something that will at least buy him alcohol. <laughs> Alky Hall. Alright, let's go back up north and just kind of tackle from north to south and see what we can do. North to south, baby. North to south. <laughs> if you can actually feed the homeless and the Assassin's Cre Creeds, or just any game, that'd be kind of cool. There might be a game out there where you can feed the homeless. Yeah, they're imaginary characters, but it still feel kind of cool. It would be nice to do that, even if <laughs> it's not in real life. It would just make me feel better while I'm playing this game. <laughs> I mean, technically I'm improving the economy by reopening these areas. I am definitely improving the economy. Economy. Entrepreneur Ezio Auditori himself. <clears throat> he is a magnificent man. Wait, really? <laughs> How contradictory can you be? <laughs> Damn. Like, I don't want to give people money. For... <laughs> Is that a pub of all things? It's like, hmm. They're just going to use it on alcohol. As he drinks. Or he buys. Or he even serves beer. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> 